Hey guys, Scott Devine here from scottspacelessons.com and today I'm going to take you through a seven step process to help you learn every note on the fingerboard. This is a huge thing holding so many bass players back it's, and it's one of these things that you just need to get through. So in this video I'm going to take you through my seven step process that's going to break it down in specific details of exactly what you need to do in exactly which order to nail all of the notes on the entire fretboard. So with that said, let's do it. Now there's two specific things you need to know before we get into the seven steps, right? Now the first is the circle of fifths, okay? which something we use as a framework and it's actually something that was originally de developed by the mathematician Pythagoras. There you go, a little bit of a uh, brain fodder for you. And you'll have seen it at school, they probably had it on a poster on the wall. It's a circle, like a clock, and then around the clock, if you go backwards anti-clockwise, it's like C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, all the way around, okay, all of the 12 notes. That's what we kind of use as our framework for these steps that I'm going to show you today. In the uh, description down below you'll be able to like click the link, get the free download and then you'll have it. And I really recommend actually printing that out, put it on your wall so it's something you see every day because it is really really going to help you, okay? The second thing that you need to know is that we've got 12 notes, okay? That's all of the notes that exist on this bass. There's only 12 of them, okay? Now each of those notes only exists once on each string below the 12th fret. Now step one, okay, the first of the seven steps is just to get familiar with the exercise, okay? So pick up your bass, okay, and let's go for the note of C. And what I want you to do is find where all the C's are on each string below the 12th fret, okay? It's one here, one here, one here, and one here, okay? It's worth noting I'm not memorizing a pattern, okay? You can't memorize all the patterns. There's 12 notes. It's it's just gonna be, and the patterns are gonna be so obscure that you can't remember the pattern. So don't try and remember a pattern, okay? By running these exercises, what's gonna happen is your memory will just start remembering where the notes are, which is what you want, okay? You wanna know that that's a C, we've got a C there and there and there and there and there. Got all the C's, right? So for step one, just familiarize yourself with the exercise, okay? Get into, okay, C, 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 C. And also you could experiment with other notes as well, okay? So you could say, hmm, I wonder what, where are the F's, okay? So you don't need to do it with all 12 yet. We're gonna get into that in a minute. But just familiarize yourself with the exercise and the idea, okay? Don't use a metronome, whatever you do, no metronome. The metronome is going to come in a bit, okay? So no metronome either. Now, step two is break the circle of fifths, can remember the circle of fifths, okay? Into four groups of three. The first group of three is going to be C, F, and B flat. C, F, and B flat. I want you to forget about all the other notes. And what I want you to do is run the exercise that we've just done on step one with those three notes. It's going to look like this. C, Okay, and go down, back down. Run that as much as you want to become comfortable with where those notes are. Then F, okay. Then B flat. Okay, now here's the deal. That could take you a day to get used to, it could take you up to a week or more. We're all at different points within our life cycle as a bass player, if you want to call it that. And because of that, we're going to learn at different speeds. So make sure that you just get those three, the C, the F, and the B flat, and you practice that exercise, just going up and down, just on those three notes, before you even look at moving to another note. But when you're ready, then, when you can get those three notes down, then it's ready to move on to the next three notes, okay? So we've done C, F, and B flat. The next three notes are E flat, A flat, and D flat. Now, 
run the same exercise. When you've got those down, you move on to the next three notes, okay? So we've got C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. We've then got G flat, B, and E. So again, this could be taken up to a week to do, and that's fine because what you're doing is you're actually working on the stuff that's gonna make a difference. You're actually learning the fingerboard. You're actually learning the notes. There's no getting away from this. And this is the best exercise that I've ever used with any of my students that actually gets them to use it, okay? So don't worry about it, just do what I'm saying, okay? So C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, and G, okay? That's the final set, A, D, and G. Now, step three is the same exercises, so those four sets of three notes, okay? With the added little bit of gentle, gentle pressure of the metronome, okay? I want you to set the metronome at 40 BPM, okay? So it's super slow, but all of this is just something to gently nudge you. Starting on C. Moving to F. Remember, we're just going around that first set of three. You know the next one, B flat. Then we go back to C, right? So again, we just practice that set of three. When we can do that round and round with the metronome, then we go on to the next set of three. When we can do that, you've got it the next set of three, and then the next set of three. And again, remember that doing a set of three might take you up to a week, okay? That's just, you know, just the way, you know, this is a slow burn, but it'll get you to actually learn the fingerboard. The next step is step four. Now, it's the same exercise around the entire circle of fifths at 40 BPM, okay? So starting on, let's see, okay? C. Back down, and then what will be next? It's going to be F. Now, step five is when things are going to, well, it's going to be interesting, okay? So what we're going to do now is break up the circle of fifths. <laughs> I told you, we need to download that, right? So break it, we're going to get the circle of fifths, and we're going to break it up into six groups of two, okay? Six groups of two. And we're going to play up one, and down the next. So we're gonna play up C and then down F, okay? And we're gonna practice that one grouping to start with, okay? So C, and then check it out, we're gonna go down F. Then we're gonna go back up C. Then we're gonna go down F. Okay, and we're going to do that until we can do it, until we're comfortable. Then we're going to move on to the next grouping of two, which is B flat and E flat. Do the same thing. A flat, D flat, same thing. G flat, B, same thing. E, A, same thing. D, G, same thing. Okay. Now, once you've got that down, you're then ready for step number six. Now, when it comes to step number six, it's actually really similar to what we've been doing before, but we're going to do the entire circle of fifths. Up one down the next. Starting with C. C. We're going to go down F. Up B flat. Now step number seven is we increase. We increase the speed of the metronome. Ideally, ideally, you want to be aiming to be able to do this around 80 BPM, okay? 80 BPM, that specific exercise that I've just been showing you there, okay? So, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, and onwards.
was right round the entire thing and then you just keep going round. now that is really as fast as you need it to be okay you can crank it up over several weeks over a month or so over several months to be, to be fair okay so it's going to take you a little bit of time to get there but if you just do this it will really help you to nail these notes down and actually learn them once and for all. And if anybody's wondering whether you should mix it up, the exercises, no, <laughs> no, right? Do the exercises in this specific order, no exceptions. If you enjoyed this content, give me a like down below and just subscribe to the channel and put the notifications on and all of that fancy stuff. And also make sure that you go check out what the team and I do. It's scottsbasslessons.com with the biggest and coolest online base school in the world. And uh, we've got a fantastic world-class faculty that gives people like you the chance to learn from the best base educators and best players in the world from the comfort of your own home. It's pretty radical actually, pretty crazy stuff. And you can actually grab a 14 day free trial. Whoop. So you can check it out, take it for a test drive. See if it's for you. I've got no idea what this does. Our gear stick, gear stick is here. Anyway, with that said, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.